Welcome back, folks. Look at the chunk on this. <laughs> I found this on Tinternet, eBay actually, and I thought, I was scrolling through, and I thought, ooh, this looks pretty neat. And I'm thinking to myself, I reckon that would make a really cool, funkadelic piece of something. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna make with it, as always, but stay tuned, folks, because this one is gonna get crazy. Yep, it's spaghetti. Right, so there is our mold, folks. Hopefully this will hold out. Now I've done this in clear uh, plastic because I want you to experience <laughs> what I'm about to do. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna knock up some resin and uh, we're gonna mix up some colors just because I want this to be, you know, a cool shape and it's not really a cool shape. There's not really a lot I can do with it as it is until I kind of get that shape. So uh, let's pour some resin. Here's some, I made earlier. Now I knocked this up earlier on because I've been leaving it to set. Because we're gonna need this to set for about an hour and a half before we add some color. So it makes it nice and thick so the colors don't mix. A few minutes later. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh man, I left it too long, didn't I? I was supposed to leave it just right so I could put some colour in because it's best to let it sort of set for a bit so it mixes well with the rest of the resin but I've left it too long and it's gone off. <laughs> it's gone off. It's gone off in the pot. <laughs> oh, look. I mean, it looks pretty cool though, doesn't it? Look at that. That does look quite smart. We should just do a project just based on kind of that happening, but I've left the stick in there. So that's not going to be cool enough, is it really? Or I might, might be able to use it on another project, but so it's gone off um, uh, too quick. Can't use it. Can't put any color in there. <sighs> Rubbish. I'm going to have to go again. Well, that's an hour and a half of my life. I won't get back. Right, folks, so I've knocked up a couple more here. Uh, and this one's getting, getting warmer. Not quite there yet, but it's getting warmer. 41, well, it's basically 46 in there. So, I'm gonna add some color. <laughs> Picked these up the other day. Um, not too sure what colors to go with because we're not gonna see a lot of this, okay, folks? So. I'm gonna have a lot of this wood, this project. It's gonna be more wood than it is resin and stuff. Cause I think I love this piece of wood and I wanna show off all the features in it. So I think we're gonna go with maybe a little bit of black. Um, I think that might look quite nice. Maybe a bit of red. What about black and red? Are we concurring? Are we concurring? Or should we go with blue? Now we always have blue, didn't we? We've done purple already on a project. We've done gold on a project before. Uh, could go pink. No, I think we did pink the other day as well. I think I think black and red might look quite smart. Let's go with black and red. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of this in there now, just to get things going. You know what I'm saying? Loving that color, yes! Now black is a bit of a dangerous color because <laughs> it could just all go black, but Hopefully that's why we're waiting for the resin to seal up and get warmer. The mold basically gave way. So I had to quickly off camera, this was, it was just starting to pour out everywhere. 
and just pop the resin because I didn't want it to leak out all over the floor into this bowl. Um, and obviously now all we've got is we've got like a big black <laughs> resin mess really, uh, which wasn't really kind of my plan. Although <laughs> it might be all right once we've, because again, we're not going to see a lot of the resin anyway, but I wanted to sort of get a bit of a, <laughs> I wanted to get some resin in it just to sort of give it some shape, but that's not really, it's not really panned out. So this is, I think this is too thin um, and it's just started to sort of melt through it really. It's way too thin, I think, for this project. Uh, and it was just going to pour out all over the floor. So I just quickly grabbed it off camera, stuck it in there, and that was it. Right, so I think what I'm going to do now is, um, I don't know. <laughs> I'll come back to you in a minute. You're what the French call les incompetents. What? Right, I've knocked up some more resin, some red, um, and I've already put the uh, piece in the pressure pot. Um, and I'm gonna, cause it's quite big, it sort of touches the sides almost. <laughs> so I'm gonna just pour it in there like this. I'll just mix this up. This is a slow hardener, so it's gonna take a while to kick in, but I'm fearing that this is just gonna end up with just a black, <laughs> just, just, it's gonna be a black, uh, whatever. Um, but, um, so I'm gonna pour this in here. I don't know. Yeah, it is, look. <laughs> it needs to be secured down. Oh, man. Right. I'm going to take this back out. I'm going to secure it down with some tape and put it back again. Right. Tape is on it. It's actually... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> right, I'm going to put a bit more on. I reckon that could go down a bit more than that. Oh, it's hot, it's hot in here. Not in, in the workshop, in this bowl. Because the resin is, is going off as we speak. So it's, <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling to keep this thing down whilst the resin's going off. Well, I need something to hold it down there. That'll do. <laughs> cool, it's boiling in there. Boiling, boiling. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Right. Oh, tape is in. Secure. Piece is secure. Oh. Let's get this back in the pot. Right, stay. <laughs> right, it's in there now, so. Oh, what a palaver. Ah, oh, what a kerfuffle. Ready? <laughs> She's gone off. Right. Uh, so, yeah, colour's not too bad actually. Let's un let's unmould this. Wow! Look at that. It wasn't. The colour I was going with, but actually, that does look pretty cool. However, <laughs> we're not going to be using, we're not going to be seeing a lot of this because I'm intending to, well, I don't want to make a bowl out of this because that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, so, what I am going to do here is... Um, what am I going to do, Nick? I don't know. 
I'm going to put it on the lathe, but I'm going to mount it this way and not that way. Now this piece is getting smaller and smaller by the minute. It's kind of not what I had planned, but nothing ever is. Right, so I'm just turning this to round and there are an awful lot of cracks in this. Look at those. <laughs> now that is not good because in a minute we're gonna have an explosion. So what I'm gonna try and do, I think, I'm not sure why that's happened. Maybe the wood was a bit wet, a bit damp and it's, I don't know, expanded. But it's looking quite cool. I think we can get a really cool looking piece out of this, but not as it is at the moment. So I'm gonna try and get some resin in all these bits. I might have to make a little mold, try and fill it a little bit with some resin um, because that's no good at the moment. Right, that's that done. Right folks, this has been in here now uh, for a few nights. So I've left it for a little while, so here we go. Let's see what we've got. Right, let's get this bad boy out. Did it leak? <laughs> and if it did, did it cover the cracks? I think it might have leaked. I don't know. I don't think it did leak. But I'm not too sure if it covered all the cracks up or not. Hmm. Now, do I put a bit more resin in now? Because that was up here before. And then leave it another night or two. <laughs> Oh, or do you reckon that might have sealed the cracks? There's the crack there that I can see. Hmm. Right, well that took me hours, literally. If you need to make a mould, make sure you use mould release. Something that I don't use often. Right, let's get this back on the lathe and see what funk we can make. Alan! Alan! Right, I just chomper my way into this piece and we still got our cracks. <laughs> so that last bit of resin that we put in there kind of, well, didn't really do much, but there we go. I thought the resin was gonna kind of get into the cracks and seal it up. Didn't do that, didn't do that. So this is the, this is the look at this wood. This is gonna look so nice, polished up. This is gonna look really, really cool. Especially with some of the resin features in there as well. Bit of chip out, but we'll get rid of that. That's no worries, no worries. 
Um, but um, I'm just going to keep turning this around. We've got this big chunk here to get rid of. So, <laughs> so we get rid of that. And then I'm not too sure what I'm going to be making here. It's definitely not going to be a bowl, folks. I'm not going to be making a bowl. That is for sure. Uh, so um, something else with a bit more interest to this one. I really like the wood in there, so I want to try and keep as much of the wood in there as possible. So, um, but let's keep on turning. Oh yeah. Now I'm having to be very, very gentle with this piece because one, I don't want it to pop off the lathe like the last one did. And see, this wood is so soft. You gotta be gentle when cutting into it. Otherwise you just take big chunks out of it. We don't want that. Right now for the most exciting bit of all, sanding. Right folks, this is where we've got so far. So I've carved out a little pattern in the bottom here of whatever we're gonna be making. <laughs> it's not a bowl. Um, and uh, got a little room in there for my emblem. So we've got my emblem here, which you've all seen. This is, these are from Von Hank. Uh, on, uh, he's actually part of Make Central members as well, so you get a discount off of these if you're a member of Make Central. <laughs> So that pops in there, just jubbly. So what I'm gonna do now, I've gone in and sanded this back now to about 240 grit. So you can see we've lost all the chip out now, but we do, boom, have this one crack left. All the other cracks have gone, uh, but we've got this one little crack with a little bit of damage in here. I don't know what's happened there. I don't, I think it wasn't chipped out, it was just, I think it was like a bubble or something like that, but I don't want to go any any smaller. I could like kind of try and carve it all out, but then I don't know, I'm going to lose more of the wood and I don't really want to do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to squidge a little bit of milliput in there. And if you haven't seen milliput before, I'm sure you have, most of you. But it's this stuff. So a bit of black in there will be just jubbly. Squeeze it in there and that'll be dry in a couple of hours and then we can finish that side off. But for the moment, what we've all been waiting for, <laughs> we're gonna put a little bit of sand and cedar on this and look, this is the bit that's gonna look really funky. Check this out. looking groovy. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? Right, let's knock up a little tinkle of Millie Pat. Now what you gotta do is mix this up real good. Just keep mixing it, mixing it. Kneading it and kneading it. Right, so I've added in the milli putt um, and that will just set now when we just sand this down. Once it's done, it won't take long uh, and it'll be just jubbly. You won't even know.
hole filled. Now we've filled the hole, it's time for some Yorkshire's finest. Yorkshire cream. Don't leave home without it. Ha <laughs> ha! That's with the Yorkshire grit. Now for the bit that I absolutely love, using Machina wax. I'm gonna splodge this all over the place. <laughs> it's gonna be a beauty. <laughs> Looks like marble. Right, I've just flipped this over to start doing something with this side. Now, it's always important, just a little tip for you, if you're getting going in wood turning or anything, uh, if you're flipping this over and you're doing up the chuck, make sure you tighten up both of these. There's two. There's two for a reason. <laughs> they both need tightening. Because if it's not secure, it's gonna come off and pop you right in the conk. Sometimes it's easier to just do it the old fashioned way. This sheet of wax is sensational. I love using this stuff. Shines up like a beauty. I love it. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> now, 
Now, I used to put in, back in the day when I was wood turning, I used to put in these kind of little tops for the lid. Um, and here's our lid. Look at that. That looks pretty awesome. <laughs> so I'm wondering whether or not one of these pieces would look kind of cool in there. So we've got that one. We've got this one, which we could probably try and get in there. It needs to come out a bit, potentially like that. Or a bit of this crystal. Look at that. I actually like that. I do. I like that. I think that looks quite, quite fancy. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. Oh, yes. We made it! Woohoo! There was quite a few moments that I thought that we weren't going to be able to complete this one again. But we did. Ha! And I think it looks pretty cool. So I opted for the little crystal in the top there. I think that looks quite cool. I know that's not going to be everybody's taste, but <laughs> I had to go for one of them. So the, the colours actually are quite nice. They weren't the colours that I was going with originally because obviously you had a little bit of a mishap with the mould. And what happened there was the plastic that I got was too thin, very, very thin, and the resin just melted it. <laughs> it was just gone. So, uh, did you see that? But look at that. Look at the features in there. It looks so cool. Really, really nicely finished, that is. It's got a good tight fit on it at the moment. I won't pull on that too much at the moment. It's only just glued it. Uh, then we've got the inside. Could be a little jewelry box or something. You know, maybe put your sweeties in there. But I kind of, I didn't want to make a bowl. I wanted to make something different. I don't know what it was going to be, <laughs> a vase or something, but I wanted to try and keep some of this really nice wood in there. And look at that. Now that is beautiful. B E A beautiful. We gotta have a thumbs up on the wood at least. <laughs> so if you're gonna put a thumbs down on this video, consider the wood. Mm. I love the wood. Thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please could you hit the subscribe button. Now I know that we do some crazy different things in here and it's not always to everybody's taste, but you know, I just like to mix things up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and doing a few things. The video I put out last week, I forgot the ending bit. I recorded a little bit at the end where it's supposed to go. And that's not it, folks. This was just part one. <laughs> For some reason, that time it just didn't end up in the video. So everyone was kind of going, what did he do? What did he make? Did he just make a set of coasters? Um, kind of. <laughs> they were kind of coasters, I suppose. But they were a beginning part of another part project which is coming out soon so bear with me on that one folks and again i apologize for not kind of explaining myself properly i did at the end put part one now on the title so it says part one so it kind of gives people an indication that there's two parts so what do you think of this one folks do you like it do you like it i really love the wood i love the resin and that that's a nice piece come on that is a nice piece. Please give me that. So the most important thing is, <laughs> I hope that you folks like this project. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. Please smash me a like and a comment below. I read all the comments. I might not get to replying to all of them, but I do read pretty much all of them. <laughs> Don't forget as well, if you could ring the bell at the top right hand corner. It's getting a bit crazy again, Nick. If you could ring the bell in the top right hand corner, then that will uh, let you know that I put a video out. Again, if it's something that you don't want to see, you don't have to watch it. 
come back next week and no doubt there'll be something even more rubbish. I mean, cooler. I appreciate all the followers that have come over, all the new followers, thank you very much. We're getting closer and closer to that one million. <laughs> and that is my goal. Uh, I wanna try and get there before Maker Central. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Maker Central has now been moved uh, unfortunately again till next year that's it now there's no more moving 100 percent we're going to be there next year make a central we've got confirmation from jimmy the rester he's coming bobby duke he's coming peter brown is coming loads of really cool makers are going to be at next year's make a central 2022 may well actually april the 30th to the 1st of may uh, check out the website below you can grab a ticket come and meet me and loads of other makers. We've got lots going on there. We've got Robot Wars there. Robot Wars, man, check it out. That is pretty cool. Um, I also wanted to say as well, for those of you that are still watching, and I know some of you do, but a lot of you don't. But for those of you that are currently still watching me now, um, you are also probably the people that follow my son as well, Charlie the Maker. He hasn't put a video out for a while because he's just left school. Uh, he's just got his exam results through and he's just started his first job um, and he's been very very kind of busy he's been he was busy studying and then he got his exam results he passed by the way he passed his exam results so he now he can go on to college he's got his, his English his maths and his all the other things that he wanted to get which is really 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 great really chuffed about it um, but he hasn't put a lot of content out at the moment, but I want you to please, if you could bear with him, he's built his channel up quite well. And he's got his little projects that he does, but he hasn't put one out for a little while. So if you could bear with him, for those of you that do follow Charlie, my son, link is below if you don't. Uh, he will be putting some more projects up soon, but it might be just a bit kind of like one here, and then every few weeks might get another one, but he hasn't put one out for, for three or four weeks now. So apologize from him, he will be back. I'll be back. Also, folks, if you wanted to know where I get my music from, check out Epidemic Sound. The link is below. Um, if you follow that link and you sign up, uh, it doesn't cost you any more, but it helps me in the channel. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm still trying to get to 50,000 followers. And I did say I'll be doing a giveaway when I get there. I will do a giveaway. And it will be on Instagram as well. So I don't really know um, when that will be, but if you could follow me on there, it'd be great. I'm on TikTok as well, putting a few little bits of crazy, uh, weird stuff on there. If you don't like weird, crazy, stupid things, then don't follow me on TikTok. I'm also on Facebook as well. <laughs> and also, if you didn't know, Maker Central have been working for about two years, nearly three years actually, on a app for the Maker community. So you can follow makers like you can on Instagram, but the app is more directed to the DIY craft kind of community. It's just for makers, DIYers, you know, creators, and people like yourself that want to follow on projects as well. So we have taken a view to make it so that you're following projects. It allows you to follow a project from start to finish. So the makers on there will put on their kind of like a progress of what they've done, what materials they've used, what tools they've used. Uh, and you can follow the projects, which is pretty cool. Um, so it's coming out really, really soon. I'll, I'll leave a link below as well so you can sign up to it, uh, put your email address in and we'll notify you of when it comes out. If you are a member of Maker Central, you will get access to the app uh, sooner. You'll be added to our beta testing, kind of like testers. But it's pretty cool. It's kind of like an Instagram but it's gonna be such a great little app. When that is fully out, obviously I'll announce that so you can download it. I'll be on there so you can follow me on there as well. <laughs> right, so I will love you and leave you folks. More than likely now when this video is out, I will be in sunny Spain. Finally, holiday after about two years, we're off to Javier uh, and it's a really great place. We love it along there, down the RNL beach. And I'll be up and down there if you want to find me, if you're in Spain, <laughs> in that area. I'll see you there. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, folks. Please hit the subscribe button and take care. Stay safe. Thanks for sticking with me on my channel and my weird, crazy projects and stuff. But I just want to say thank you again for supporting me and thank you uh, for my Patreons as well. You're all amazing. Take care, folks. I'll see you for the next one.